Today in Fort Worth, the TCU Horned Frogs get set to take on the Kansas Jayhawks in an important Big 12 women's basketball tilt. The room, make sure they understand, identify the defense so they get the shot they want. And I'm going to go ahead and say that's the one they want. She feeds it off down low to Obenla for the turnaround. But Lauren Hurd's improved on the defensive end as well as Obenba gets the first news for TCU. KU. Yeah, that's a second jumper for Franklin to go. Ray tries to answer and does with a three here for TCU. Her soccer skills here early on. A couple of kicks to reset the shot clock to 20. And there's that freshman we talked about. Gets her feet set. Get, catches it in the shooting pocket right. Ready Absolutely. to fire. Absolutely. 100%. There's an answer that time for TCU as Keanu Ray is able to knock it a tray of her own. Game. If Kansas is getting a lot of paint touches, they're going to have a chance to have success. Bird tried to force it to Ray that time. Steal here. Franklin pushes the lead for Mitchell again. That one off the glass. Woods going to keep it. Not able to convert back the other way now come the Jayhawks. Quick look up the floor. And Anaya Thomas brings it back out. She'll get it back, right back from Kurzgieter. And a three-pointer here for the Jayhawks gives them a 16-15 lead. Kick it in the corner for JC's three. And Bradley able to knock it down this time. Here's Hurd with it. Comes from a basketball family. There's the lay-in for Hurd. His dad, Bob, was the head coach at West Texas A&M for about 25 years, weaving in traffic. Jumper doesn't go from the baseline for Barry, but able to grab it. On well, a nice feed from Okamalafi. Four and a half left in the quarter. Thomas quickly. She likes to play at a quicker pace, and I yeah. does. Woods has been fairly quiet, and this one fires that pass to Ray for the jump. The feed organized and delivers. Shoots 30% from behind the arc. And there's that freshman again. And the shot clock now for Kansas. Kurzge to the shooter. Picked up a couple of fouls early on. Here's penetration by Franklin into the teeth of that defense and able to score. She catches left wing and fires quickly. Had a good look. Nice follow for her. You can tell that the primary objective here in the second half for Kansas is to get to the rim. Absolutely. Penetration. Absolutely. And one of the things is coaches will show you what they talked about at halftime. Oh, yes, quickly. Yeah, I mean, everybody go, well, I wonder what they talked about at halftime. Nice job there for the jumper. In the last three possessions here, they came out of the fourth quarter at the start of the fourth quarter in zone, and that's what you're going to need to right. do to get them out of it, right? That's how you attack it, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, whose ball is it? Sometimes you get a little dialed in and you yes. forget what's going on. That's intense here. This ball slapped away in the backcourt. TCU will have it. That's why you got all those guys in suits that's during right. games. Somebody's <laughs> in charge of whose ball it is. Yes, I like it. Three on the shot clock. Frogs with their largest lead of the game at 10. Kurzgeter with 11 on the shot clock. Catch and shoot. Here it is again. Kurzgeter unable to convert baseline. And now back the other way. Hurd's got a trailer. Here's Ray. Set up nicely. Have a game, Keon yeah. Ray. The best coaches, every single game is a chance to get more information about your team and teach your team what you're doing. The Horn Frogs with a 14-point victory and route to their 11th win of the year, 73-59.